गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस ऑन मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर वन विथ इफेक्ट फ्रॉम टू जीरो टू थ्री टू फोर दैट इज करेंट इयर सी बी सी एस स्कीम बी सी एस थ्री नॉट टू दिस इज द सब्जेक्ट कोड दिस इज फॉर थर्ड सेमिस्टर बी डिग्री एग्जामिनेशन एंड द सब्जेक्ट नेम बी डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बी आस्क फॉर एट मार्क्स इट इज एज फॉलोज A digital system is to be designed in which the month of the year is given as input in four bit form. The month of January is represented as zero 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 zero, February as zero 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 one, and so on. The output of the system should correspond to the input of the month containing thirty one days, or otherwise it is zero. Consider the excess number in the input. Beyond one zero one one as don't care condition. There are three questions in this. The first question being write the truth table, sum sum of products that is sigma m and product of sums that is product of max terms in that form. We have to get the Boolean expression from truth table. Simplify for S O P using K map. So we have to get simplified sum of product. Expression from K map. Third one realize using basic gates. Okay, this is the question number two B. Ask for eight marks. Here the second one only simplified SOP is asked and its logic circuit diagram. But we shall solve for both SOP and POS. Okay, so solution first part we have to write the truth table. So truth table input side we have. Four bits. So let us represent them as A, B, C, D. The output with F, min terms with small m, max terms with capital M. Next twelve months we have to consider. These are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and so on till December. January is coded as zero 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 zero. February as zero 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 one. March as zero zero one zero, April as zero zero one one, May as zero one zero zero, June as zero one zero one, July as zero one one zero, August as zero one one one, September as one zero zero zero, October as one zero zero one, November as one zero one zero, December as one zero one one. Beyond one zero one one. There are no months, hence the remaining possible com combinations with four bits. That is from twelve to one one zero zero, thirteen one one zero one, fourteen one 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 zero, fifteen one one one. These are considered as don't care conditions. Okay, so the output for them is taken as don't care. Here the output column F is filled to be one. If in that month thirty one days are there, January has thirty one days, so one year. February not thirty one, hence zero. March thirty one one, April not thirty one, so zero. May has thirty one days, hence output is taken as one. June not thirty one zero, July thirty one one, August has thirty one days here. Here we have to be careful. July also thirty one days, August also thirty one days. Hence, both the outputs are taken as one. September as zero because no thirty one days. October has thirty one days one. November has no thirty one days zero. December has thirty one days one. And remaining combinations they are taken as don't care conditions. Okay. Next, how to write min terms and max terms? For writing min terms, we have to consider where output is one, and there we should write product terms. So output is one here. So here it is a bar, b bar, c bar, d bar. All the inputs are zero. Hence a bar, b bar, c bar, d bar is written, and this four bits with all zeros represents decimal zero. Hence min term number is zero. Next here output is one. Combinations are a bar, b bar, c, d bar. That is written here. And zero zero one zero means in decimal it is two. Hence this is min term two. 
Next here output is 1, A bar, B, C bar, D bar. So that product term is written here. 0, 1, 0, 0 represents decimal 4, hence min term for this one. Next here output is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 means A bar, B, C, D bar. So that is written here. Then it is 0, 1, 1, 0 means in decimal it is 6. Hence it is min term 6. Then 0, 1, 1, 1, A bar, B, C, D. That is the min term here or product term. So 0, 1, 1, 1 means in decimal it is 7. Hence it is min term 7. Next here after min term 7, here the output is 1. So, 1, 0, 0, 1, A, B bar, C bar, D. That is written here. So, 1, 0, 0, 1 means in decimal it is 9. Hence, this is min term 9. Next here output is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, A, B bar, C, D. That is written here. So, 1, 0, 1, 1 means in decimal it is 11. Hence, this is min term 11. All remaining outputs are taken as don't care conditions. So this is about writing min terms. Next max terms which is represented by cap. Next max terms which is represented by capital M. So max term should be considered for where output is 0. Here output is 0 for input combination 0 0 0 1 means reverse of SOP we'll have to cons we have to consider here. So this is a plus B plus C plus D bar. If 0 means as it is. If 1 means complement. A plus B plus C plus D bar. So that is what is written here. Triple zero one. 1 it is in decimal it is 1. Hence 1 is written. This is max term 1. So this is max, under max terms we are writing. So these are some terms. Okay. So this is max term 1. Next the output is 0 here. 0, 0, 1, 1 means A plus B plus C bar plus D bar. That is written here. 0, 0, 1, 1 means in decimal it is 3. Hence this is max term 3. Next output is 0 here. 0, 1, 0, 1 is the input combination. A plus B bar plus C plus D bar. That is the max term. 0, 1, 0, 1 means in decimal it is 5. Hence, this is max term 5. Next, the output is 0 here. 1, 0, 0, 0. This is A bar plus B plus C plus D. That is written here. 1, 0, 0, 0 in decimal it is 8. Hence, this is max term 8. So, max term 8 is over here. Next, output is 0 here. Input combinations are 1, 0, 1, 0. Hence A bar plus B plus C bar plus D. That is what is written here. 1, 0, 1, 0 means in decimal it is 10. Hence this is max term 10. And all remaining combinations are taken here. From 1, 0, 1, 1 onwards. Means 1, 1, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. These combinations are taken as don't care conditions. So, this is how max terms are written. Hence, f of a, b, c, d, that is the given function from truth table, it is sigma m, sum of min terms, that is sum of products, in bracket 0, 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 11, plus don't care conditions 12, 13, 14, 15. And f of a, b, c, d is also equal to product of max terms in bracket 1 3 5 8 10 plus don't care conditions 12 13 14 15 so here for both swap and pause sum of products and product of sums don't care conditions remain same and the sum of products are taken for the output wherever it is 1 product of sums those max terms are taken for wherever output is 0. So these terms leaving those which numbers do come they appear here. Okay. So this is what is the solution for first question in that. Right. Next we shall see to the second one. So 
तो सेकेंड क्वेश्चन डील्स विथ टू गेट द सिंप्लीफाइड सॉप मीन्स दिस इक्वेशन वील हैव टू टेक के मैप वी हैव टू ड्रॉ देन गेट द सिंप्लीफाइड सॉप सो दिस इज सेकेंड वन दिस सॉप इक्वेशन वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम ट्रिप टेबल सो फॉर दिस वील हैव टू ड्रॉ के मैप बिकॉज इट इज फोर वेरिएबल एक्सप्रेशन टू रेज टू फोर स्क्वेयर्स वील हैव टू ड्रॉ इन द के मैप दैट इज ड्रॉन हियर ए बी सी डी इनपुट्स आर रिटर्न हियर सी डी हियर फॉर टू इनपुट्स फोर कॉम्बिनेशंस ऑफ इनपुट्स जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन आर रिटर्न हियर फॉर सी डी जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन फोर इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशंस आर रिटर्न हियर आफ्टरवर्ड्स सीइंग टू दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन देयर प्लेस इन द के मैप वन हैज टू बी फिल्ड दिस इज सॉप सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इक्वेशन सो zero min term zero this is min term zero place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so these are the min term places in the K map so whichever min terms are there in the swap expression here in their place in K map we'll have to fill logic one so min term zero one One is not there. Min term two one, three is not there. Four is there, five is not there. Six seven are there. So six seven one, eight is not there. Nine is there. One so nine is there. Ten is not there. Eleven is there. Hence it is filled with one. Next don't care conditions twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. Here eight nine ten eleven. So here twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. These places are filled with don't care conditions. So filling of the K map is over. Next grouping of ones we have to do. We have to cover all the ones with minimum number of groups. Now these two ones and these two ones form one quad because on this line, if you take a fold, these two fall on this. Again on this line, if you take a fold, all come in one square. Hence, these two and these two make one group. That is quad. So with that group, these two and these two ones, four ones are covered. Now to cover this, treating these as don't care conditions, along with this one, so a quad is formed. These are adjacent. So don't care conditions are to be used as per the need of simplification. Because we have to group ones and simplify with respect to one for swap expression, we have to treat these don't care conditions as one. Now these two are remaining. Treating these two as one, one more quad is formed. So with these three groups, all the ones are over. So this cross we should not try to cover. We can utilize these to cover ones. but they should not be independently treated as one and try to cover we should not try to cover this okay so next in each group row wise and column wise what are common the term you have to write so in this group these two these two members are covered in these two rows 0 0 0 1 this first zero which corresponds to a that is common hence a bar and these two and these two one which are the members of first group they are covered in these two columns here 0 0 1 0 the second zero is common with respect to d hence d bar okay so for group 1 row wise and column wise what are common we have written this is the term next second group if you consider this here four members they are covered in these two rows 0 1 1 1 this second one corresponds to b hence b is common row wise these four members are covered in these two columns 1 1 1 0 that is first one with respect to c that is common hence b and c is written here for the second group in the third group here so these four members are covered in these two rows 1 1 1 0 this first one which corresponds to a that is common hence a these four members are covered in these two columns 
here zero one 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 second one with respect to d is common hence d okay so row wise a is common column wise d is common in this group so then that step is over next these three terms form the final expression so simplified sop is equal to f of a comma b comma c comma d equal to a bar d bar a d b c in between sum so this is simplified sop okay with this the third part of the question we have to draw the logic circuit using basic gates so how to draw this a bar and d bar means one and gate two input and gate a bar is logically ended with t bar so two input one and gate second third they are drawn here for the first one a bar d bar are the inputs for the second one ad are the inputs for third one b c are the inputs here a bar d bar appears here ad appears here b c appears all are logically odd this plus sign means output of all gains but be logically odd so here one output second third three outputs are coming here this is three input or gate all these are logically odd hence f equal to here this a bar d bar plus ad plus bc so this is logic circuit diagram using basic gates that is the third part of the question okay whole of the solution is over but actually if for pos equation if they had asked what would be the solution we shall extend this little bit extra so this is the product of max terms or product of sums expression that is derived from the truth table seeing to this k map is drawn so in previous k map wherever one was there cross mark as it is copied wherever one was there leaving those places zeros are filled so this one we can do very quickly or seeing to max terms so 1 is present 0 2 is not present 0 is not present 3 is present 0 4 is not present max term 5 is present 0 then max term 8 is present 0 9 is not there 10 is present 0 so whichever max terms are there we have to fill 0 here don't care conditions as it is 12 13 14 15 so for sop we'll have to consider 1 for pos we'll have to consider zeros okay don't care conditions as it is now we'll have to cover all the zeros with minimum number of groups so this is one group so to cover these two along with the help of this don't care condition means treating them as a zero so don't care conditions are to be treated as per the need of simplification here they are treated as zero so these form one quad because on this line if you take a fold these two fall on this again on this line if you take a fold all fall in one square hence these two and these two form one quad so two zeros are covered now here these two zeros are paired these two zeros are paired with this pair both the zeros are covered but to cover this this zero is utilized so one more pair is formed so grouping is over now for this quad these four members covered in these two rows 1 1 1 0 that first one with respect to a is common hence a bar if a is 1 we should write a bar plus column wise these four members in these two columns here 0 0 1 0 this is second zero with respect to d hence as it is because zero with respect to d so a bar plus d this is row wise common this is column wise common logically odd this is sum term this is with respect to first group that is this quad next we shall consider this pair both the members come in single row 0 0 with respect to ab means as it is a plus b 
Next, these two zeros are covered in these two columns. 0, 1, 1, 1. That is second one with respect to D means D bar. Hence, row wise A plus B. Column wise, this plus D bar. Okay. Then, this group. Here, two members are covered in two rows. 0, 0, 0, 1. This first 0 corresponding to A. Hence, as it is. Plus, these two members fall in one column only. 0, 1 that correspond to CD. CD means C as it is. D is D bar. So, C plus D bar. Okay. This way for every group, what is row wise common? Logically ordered with what is column wise common. Okay. They are written. Now these three terms form the final expression. Hence simplify product of sums. F of A, B, C, D equal to this first one A plus B plus D bar and this is some product of sums we have to write. Then the second one A plus C plus D bar and this one more ended with A bar logically or with D. So these are sum terms. So product of sums it is. So this is simplified POS. Now how to realize this with basic gates. Here A is logically or with B that is logically or with D bar. 1, 2, 3 inputs are there. So, they are logically ordered means one OR gate with three inputs A, B, D bar here. Here this is another OR gate with inputs A, C, D bar. This is two input OR gate, the inputs being A bar, D. Okay. So, the output of all the OR gates are ANDED. The output of all the OR gates are ANDED. Okay. That is F, which is equal to this expression. Right. So, this is logic circuit diagram using basic case for simplified POS expression. Okay. So that completes the solution of question number 2B of model question paper belonging to current year it is 2023-24. I hope you understood. Thank you.